Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to a gorgeous summer evening in the garden. Um, last week you guys saw me do a wonderful pour that was a split cup, wandering straight pour, Fiona style, uh, using a 16 ounce split cup. And this week I actually want to refine the technique a little bit more. I want to practice it a little bit more and of course practice on smaller canvases this time rather than something gigantic. So <laughs> I have two 12 by 12s. This is a four chamber split cup. We believe it's from Tracy Reed Designs, but I will link it for you in the description box for sure. Um, so that's a five and a half ounce split cup. I'm going to use it on a 12 by 12, which is that's exactly how much paint you need for a 12 by 12 is five and a half ounces. So these are taped and pinned and I have painted the sides and edges, with my 12 by 12s. Okay, let's move that over there for the moment. And let's show you our colors real quick. The first one we're using is this gorgeous golden green gold. Very, very pretty color. Everything is kind of thick tonight and I'll tell you why. I have used mixed pour as my pouring medium. You can get your own mixed pour by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Um, everything is fairly thick tonight when you pour, drizzle it off the stick from here. But with the split cup that I want to do, I'm pouring it up from much higher. So I figured let me drizzle it off the stick from much higher and that's about the consistency that I actually really want. So the last one we did, um, what was it? <laughs> Sharks in the clouds, that was it. Uh, I had watered my paint down just a tiny bit right before we started, I thinned it out a little bit and I think that's what was giving me some of those um, jaggedy sort of lines that I didn't like so much. So I've kept it thicker on purpose tonight to hopefully avoid that. So that's our Golden's Green Gold. The next one we're using is Arteza in Pearl Pistachio. Such a beautiful color, I love this. Pearl Pistachio Green, just gorgeous. It is fairly thick tonight. My mix is nice and thick, <laughs> which I'm very happy about. Okay, so that's Arteza's Pearl Pistachio Green. Then we are using Golden's Van Dyke Brown, which is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Like rich espresso, beautiful espresso beans. It smells so good. It would be really cool if it smelled like espresso, but it does not. <laughs> That's our Van Dyke Brown. And then last but not least, my favorites, our Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And just, just amazingness. I love this stuff so much. This actually seems like the right consistency. I may have to water down that green gold a bit because it seems kind of thick. So that's the metallic cobalt. All right, so I also have here some DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold that I had left over from another pour. And I may use this as the flow extender or a small puddle to pour into. Okay, let's see. Oh, I put pins on these, didn't I? Oh, yay, it fits on there perfectly. <laughs> okay, go up here.
think this one's kind of done. I think it's going to dry really, really interestingly and very cool because that it's a beautiful color palette with the cobalt and the Van Dyke brown and the green gold is really, really pretty and the pistachio is showing up as a white color almost because there's so much contrast between those. Like I really wish I could take that off. <laughs> Okay, so that's kind of neat. Um, let's move this one over. I'm gonna scrape my table off real quick. So observations, I think the paint was a little bit too thick last time. So we are gonna thin everything down just a smidge and then we're gonna do the other canvas. All right. Get our cup. I have a tub water sitting here. I'm gonna go spray it with the hose. I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, so I've washed my cup and dried it with the leaf blower so the inside of it's not wet. I hope it's not wet. Okay, so we're gonna change the order of this one. This time we're gonna start with the metallic cobalt. Actually, no. <laughs> I'm gonna put some of the pistachio on one side. Did you thin it down? No. <laughs> Weren't you supposed to? <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> I'm gonna pour my pistachio in this last chamber. Okay. And then we're gonna put the metallic cobalt in the second chamber. I'm gonna put the Van Dyke Brown next to that. scraped off the table because I want to use that as a low extender and it's really thick. Alright, take two. So we're going to put a puddle of this greenish goldy color down to pour into. Here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Here we go.
for the other four was don't end it in the very middle of the canvas because then you can't open it up. It's weird. I think that's weird, but I can get it off. Okay, that's much cooler. Paint consistency was definitely much better, just a smidge thinner so that it wasn't mounding quite so much. And I love this back and forth. I think it's really, really cool. Okay, I'm going to go around this with this full extender. There's something really fun about 12 by 12. So <laughs> it just kind of always feels like I'm playing, so I don't have to take it too seriously. And I guess I always feel like if I need to do it again, it's only five ounces of paint, so. With a... 12 by 12 canvases have to be a lot less expensive too. Not a whole lot, but <laughs> yeah, they are. If you're starting out, don't give in to the urge to go very big right in the very, very beginning, you know what I mean? Practice, definitely. Don't practice on level three gallery wrapped ones. Practice on level ones and level twos as you get better and then you know. Okay. Alright, that's looking pretty cool. Let's torch it. Actually, no, I'm not going to torch it. Okay, let's tilt this. I guess the first thing I want to get off is this little parrot that's over there. Okay, we'll take this down this way. We're gonna go back this way first a little bit because I don't want to lose a lot of that before we stretch it out. Now I got it lined up right. Now I'm just gonna take that right off and go off the edge. Come back. And we're gonna walk this down. Just pushing that flow extender perfectly. I think that is much, much, much cooler than the first one. I mean, the first one is interesting in its own right and has some, a lot of really good things about it. But what do I like better? I like this composition better. And I think that's because we have more of the metallic cobalt and not as much of the Van Dyke Brown. The Van Dyke Brown is a shadow and an accent, whereas over here, it was much more prominent. Um, HOA, do you think we should repour the first one now that the consistency is better? We'll it's get up a to you. Better results, or do you think we should leave? What well, I think is interesting is that the second one has a lot more cells than the first one. You think that's from the agitating the thinner the, paint? The thinner paint. Yeah. Or or the act the act of stirring it up. No, it's definitely thinner paint. I mean, we're getting cells over here, these big gold cells from where we stretched out the base coat layer, but the pore as hell doesn't have nearly as many. I don't know, you think we should keep it? This one reminds me of seaweed or <laughs> kelp in the ocean, whereas this one more reminds me of like waves. This one's really cool. I think I want to do it again, because I'd love to have another one like that. Okay, so I'm going to wipe my hands off. Now we're going to fill the cup up again with those same colors in that same order. 
And we're going to do that one one more time. The same order as the first one? The no, the same one? order as the second one. That's what we did in that one. So we're going to go pistachio. And metallic cobalt. We don't need to fill these up all the way either. Because there's already paint on there, so... And the Van Dyke Brown. Probably only filling it up at about halfway. This time. And the green gold. husband of awesomeness. Yes, my love. Here we go. You ready, Baxi? <laughs> Which reminds me of the commercial for that game, Operation, remember? Yeah. It takes a steady hand. Yeah, it takes like a steady hand. <laughs> Of 
far as the bottom is too greasy to lose it, just try to keep some of it. The first pour. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Um, Over to This one does much more look like a feather, you're right. And this one looks like waves. Call it horse feathers. Horse feathers? <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, so another lesson learned. Paint can't be too thick either. <laughs> that was really fun. Um, I enjoyed that a lot. I really like this technique and I really want to get better at the composition. I think this looks so cool with these rows. I mean, this is beautiful too with you and that shadow. And this one, I definitely stretched it out more. So anyway, that's cool. I'll show you both of these when they are dry. Uh, thank you so much to Fiona for this awesome technique or split cup wandering straight four with the spinner. Kind of awesome and a lot of fun. So. I'd love to see if you guys give it a try. Post it on my Mina Villegas art page on Facebook and tag me, please, in your posts. I'd love to see. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so this is a couple days later now. They're both dry. I am in love with these pieces. I am so happy with how this turned out. This was the first one that we did, or the second one, <laughs> with the consistency right. That's really, really pretty stuff up in here. All these beautiful lines. And that Van Dyke ground is just doing amazing things, like especially in this area. It's just creating some gorgeous depth and some beautiful shadows. The pearl pistachio is kind of tripping me out because it's really strong. I mean, I've never seen it quite this opaque. I mean, I don't know, I'm happy with it. I guess you can see the pistachio more in this one. But how it's really coming off almost as white and very, very glowy is really, really cool. Super shiny stuff. Thank you, Mix. <laughs> I just, I love it. I can't decide if it's a feather or an ocean or both or feathers in the ocean. <laughs> but this is pretty cool. Thank you so much to my lovely friend Fiona for this awesome technique. And thank you to all of you guys for being here with us and going along with our experiments and my silliness and my giddiness. <laughs> I just really love paint. I love painting and I love to be able to paint for you guys. So I would love to hear your comments and know what you guys think and know what you guys, if you guys have used a split cup in this wandering straight pour from up high Fiona style. Very cool. Very cool stuff. I love it. Well, this was awesome. Thank you for being here. We'll see you guys real soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye. <laughs>